And what's up everybody, this is Danny looking at the wireless speaker made by Sony Electronics, the SRS BTV5. And this speaker is an NFC enabled speaker that works for the iPhone and Android, but if you want to take advantage of the NFC pairing in it, then you're going to need an Android device, especially something like the Xperia Z that just came out, or if you have the other Xperia devices that are NFC enabled, and it's just one touch pairing and it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and unbox box this thing so this thing comes in a pretty interesting looking package and you can see the speaker right there and the weight is 130 grams or about 4.6 ounces pretty light and it's available in many colors on the Sony website and it supports Bluetooth 3.0 though not Bluetooth 4.0 which is more power efficient I'm a little bit let down by that but here are the supported profiles and you can use this with any device out there and you can pair it but with NFC it's a lot easier and this is $69.99 retail price but I'm sure you might be able to find it a little cheaper but on the Sony website that's what it's listed for so let's go ahead and take this speaker right out of the cage here and take a look at that but let's see what else comes with the package itself so below the speaker there is a box here and let's open it up and see what's in there and this looks like a carrying pouch which is pretty cool it's it's like a net design which is pretty cool and it fits right in there so that's a pretty nice addition and let's see we get a micro USB to USB connector so this is cool it doesn't use DC in or out so if you have chargers laying around then most likely you'll have one of these chargers around so you don't have to have anything special and wow look at all this documentation this is ridiculous for a speaker and I'm sure it just has in different languages and things like that but wow you can start a small forest fire with that that is crazy so let's throw that to the side and let's go ahead and take a look at the speaker so the design of this is very interesting it's like an egg shaped uh, maybe like a small tennis ball type shape but it's very small and very compact and you can see that there are different ports there and you can take phone calls with this as you saw on the left side but you can see here that it's got audio in and DC 5 volt in there which is by micro USB which is very cool but you can audio into this thing if you don't want to use the Bluetooth and it's covered by a flap there and you got volume controls right on board and on the bottom you can see the Bluetooth signal there and you can turn the NFC off or you just slide it to the right and you will go ahead and start pairing and you will see the blue light flashing so that's pretty easy to do which I will show you in this video so here is the new Xperia Z that just put out and it's got NFC as well and we're gonna go ahead and pair this and show you how to pair this speaker with the Z and other devices so due to the music playing I'm just gonna show you how to do this with captions on the bottom very easy first thing you wanna do is make sure you have the Bluetooth on and you can do that right from your quick settings there make sure you turn the Bluetooth on and you gotta make sure that your NFC is enabled and that's just about it and once again with this music playing in the background I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to do it with subtitles on the bottom So super easy to do and I really appreciate this NFC technology making pairing and disconnecting very very easy no going through the menus or anything super easy to do so let me show you on some other devices how this works so this is the Oppo Find 5 and you can see here no problems with the pairing it just asks you do you want to pair to the Bluetooth device and you just say yes it's a little bit more seamless on the Xperia products because I guess it kind of just knows what to do with their connection device manager that is present on the Xperia but here's the same thing and it will tell you that it's connected 
Now I found that this device is very useful for devices that don't have a powerful loudspeaker. Like in case of the Nexus 4, that if you wanted to watch a movie on it or something, that this little speaker will definitely boost that and give you a better experience watching movies or YouTube videos. And it has a pretty good range as well, so you can keep it on your coffee table or something like that and just lay on the couch with any device like your iPad or uh, your Nexus 10 or whatever you have and just pair it with NFC, except for the iPad, of course. Any NFC-enabled device and go ahead and watch the video on there and boost your sound. So very cool. Any NFC capable device will be able to pair with it with just one touch. So what about Windows Phone? Any Windows Phone 8 device or any Windows Phone device that has NFC, same thing. And you can see that it just prompts the Bluetooth pairing right off the bat. You just hit yes. And then I'll show you right here in the Bluetooth settings. You don't have to go to that, but you can say that it's connecting. And when it's connected, you'll see a little logo come up there, and it's good. And it also works with the iPhone, iPad, and any other device that has Bluetooth and this is rated for five hours of battery life and it depends on how loud you have it and things like that but I've been getting at least three to four hours without problems and I'm not really charging this every day since I don't use it every day so pretty cool little speaker so what do you guys think about it do you think that this is something that you would like to have a portable speaker that's pretty loud it sounds pretty good as well but it distorts at high volume so not the best sounding speaker I've heard but definitely very cool so subscribe to my channel today and thanks for watching this video.